Hi, I'm Veronica Wasek, and I help Shopify sellers to set up, organize, and streamline their financial systems, whether you're looking for DIY, done with you, or done for you financials. In part two of this video, I'm going to show you how to customize and clean up your Shopify chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online. In part one of this video, I showed you the account categories that you need to set up for your Shopify chart of accounts. In this video, I will continue to show you how you can customize your chart of accounts by adding and deleting accounts. In the previous video, I showed you how to customize your chart of accounts by adding the accounts that you need for your Shopify business. So make sure that you take a look at that video so that you can add the accounts that you need. In this video, I will focus on the accounts that you may need to remove from your chart of accounts or perhaps other accounts that you may want to add. From your QuickBooks account, go to Accounting, Chart of Accounts. If you recall from my previous video, I explained that the chart of accounts is really the foundation of doing all of your bookkeeping because you will use all of these account categories to categorize your transactions in QuickBooks so that they will show up in the right reports in, in your QuickBooks. Let's focus on expenses. So scroll down and you'll see the account type and you'll see expenses. So let's take a look at these expenses. Most of the time uh, when you're starting out QuickBooks, you'll see account categories that you don't need. For example, you may not have any car and track expenses. So let's just say that you won't have any, you don't need this account. Let's go ahead and remove this account category from the chart of accounts. So just go to the right, click on the down arrow and then select make inactive and then say yes. When you do that, QuickBooks will take you to the top of the chart of accounts list. So you'll have to scroll down and let's take a look. Job supplies. Um, you probably don't have any job supplies uh, for a Shopify business and that's probably for another type of business. So again, go to the right, make an active, yes. scroll down. And here's another that you may want to remove as well, reimbursable expenses. Again, that really does not apply to an e-commerce business. Uh, reimbursable expenses are typically expenses that are reimbursed to you by customers. And um, you wouldn't really have that in a Shopify seller situation. So make an active. Yes. Now, just FYI, there are some expenses that QuickBooks may not let you delete. Um, so let's take a look at uncategorized expense. Make inactive. Yes. And notice that um, then QuickBooks will tell you that you can't delete this account because it's part of their online banking feature. So if that's the case, just click OK. Now let's say that we want to add some account categories to make our reports more meaningful. For a lot of my um, Shopify clients, they want to um, have more categories in advertising and marketing than what's there. So we'll need to add sub accounts. So scroll up, go to new. Let's say that we're going to add an account for Facebook advertising. For the account type, choose expenses. For the detail type, advertising and promotional is what you will choose and that's uh, what it defaults to. The name, change that to Facebook advertising. And then we'll click is sub account because it'll make it a sub account of advertising and marketing. Okay, so when we click a sub account, then we're making it a, again, a sub account of advertising and marketing and click save and close. And now you can see that we have the parent account advertising and marketing and then a sub account Facebook advertising. So if you need to add other sub accounts, just follow the instructions that I gave you. 
Another question that I'm asked a lot is, well, what if I have an expense and I don't see a category? What do I do? Well, in that case, uh, you need to look to see if perhaps you can use an existing account category, especially if it's an expense that's fairly small. So here's the account that you might um, use. It's called Other Business Expenses. For larger expenses or expenses that you'll have on a recurring basis that are not on the chart of accounts, you will need to add an account. So let's say that we need to add an account for product research. Click New. Select Expenses. Now, depending on where you want to add your product research, you will need to find the corresponding detail type. I will use other business expenses. Change that to product research. And save and close. And when we scroll down, you can see we that we have an account for product research where you can record any purchases that you're making to research product, um, etc. Look in the description below for the link to get my free Shopify bookkeeping blueprint. You'll get the full list of all the account categories that you need to set up in your Shopify chart of accounts. I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. Are you ready to work with an experienced and reliable Shopify accounting pro? Check the description below to learn more about my services and how we might work together. If this content is helping you, then subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. And check the description below for all of my free resources, including the link to join my Facebook community. And let me know also in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover in the future. I'm here to help. I'll see you next time.